really quick because I need to eat. My my story coming out living in Virginia is apparently it's national coming out day. I didn't know that was a thing, but that's cool. So 10 years ago, I came out 18, I'm 28 now. So lived in Virginia, nobody was okay with being gay in Virginia. Nobody that I knew, nobody that I knew was okay with that at all. So it was not easy. I had no intentions to ever come out. I didn't think I was ever going to tell anybody that. Uh, everybody was critical about it, condemning about it. It was not okay to be gay at all. It was not cool. It was not okay. Nobody I knew was okay with that at all. Didn't know anybody that was okay with that. Um, gay rights weren't really a thing then. You didn't really want to tell people that. And there's people before that had an even harder time than when I was 18. But that's when I came out. I didn't think I was ever going to tell anybody that. Finally did. Um, it got... Just depressing enough, anxiety enough, and it was hell trying to trying to trying to deal with that, and did everything to try to change that. I didn't like that. Um, didn't 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 want to deal with that. Um, finally, did come out because it was harder, I guess, not to then too, and and, and started working out and kind of gave me some confidence in myself and came up with these really big goals and started to feel um, like my life was going somewhere. Like I didn't really care what people thought anymore because I had these such big goals that I felt like I was gonna make happen. And I guess that gave me some confidence and I finally started telling some friends and nobody cared. No, nobody, a very small town, very redneck town. No buildings, two buildings in the whole town, no stoplights, very, Nobody was okay with that, but when I when I did tell people, nobody cared. Nobody cared. Even the people that were really homophobic, nobody cared. Nobody actually cared that I was gay or that I said that I was. Nobody seemed to care. Nobody treated me different. All the people that were really against it didn't actually care, which was really cool, really surprising. And for a while after, I still thought there's no way I should have came out. Maybe I messed up. That I it was too late. And, But nobody really cared and just went on through life. I met my partner, moved across the country, and met my partner. We were together two and a half years. Um, met my parents. My parents loved them. Um, we're not dating anymore, but that she's my closest friend. She's my closest friend by, by, by far. My parents still talk to them and love them, and they still keep up, which is really cool. I made little bullet points on the beginning when I was going to say, um, sorry. Yeah, nobody really cared. Nobody at all really cared, which is really cool. Um, you, you, you're kind of terrified for years as a kid that it's a horrible thing that people find out and nobody actually cared. I have one person in my life that cared and there's none in my life anymore at all. I've had no issues at all from anybody 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 in the least over the years so that was not and i can't read my handwriting because it's writing really quick and i'm trying to eat um maybe that was it yeah, nobody cared at all I, I met my partner would have never met my partner if i hadn't came out um, hopefully one day it'll be more normalized and it kind of is it really it really really is 10 years ago they weren't even Gay rights things really coming out. That that wasn't that wasn't a thing. I don't think ten years ago was it. Not that I know of. Um, and now it seems like people care even less and less. And it's, my mouth is dry, starting to become a lot more normalized. Um, so that was my very short story without all the heaviness and all the years of depression and anxiety and. Everybody has a really, really hard story about coming out. Maybe it's a lot easier now, and I think it is, but I think it can still be really hard. The people still have some really kind of messed up views on it, but that's their thing to work through, and and, and, and you don't have to, to to care. It's their issue. It's their issue. It's their upbringing, their, their conditioning, their social conditioning that they've been taught that they've never questioned because they've never really had a reason to question it which is fine but you know being that person you 
do question it. Well, why, why is that a bad thing? And it's not, it's just something that people have been taught and they believe it and they try to put their, put, put their views on you and, and, and people care less and less now, which is really cool. So nobody ever cared. It was a really, nobody except one person ever cared. It was a great thing. Met my partner, um, very open about it. I'm very open about it. I don't go telling strangers about it, but I'm very open about it. Um, And it's really just kind of that so what kind of thing. Um, it, it just, I don't care. I don't care who knows. It doesn't bother me what people think about me and about it. I just don't care. It's, it's, I've had 10 years actually coming out to kind of deal with all that. And it was not easy at first, even after coming out. Um, but it got much easier over the years. And realizing that Again, nobody cared to keep from saying the same thing over and over. That's the story. Uh, the very brief story without all the heaviness to it, I guess.